Now coming to 11th question, what were the main features of what were the main features of Vedic society and religion? Do you think some of the features are still prevailing in India society? Now, Vedic society Society, religion, and continuance. Now, what is a Vedic society? Now, in this, we can give introduction that Aryans, according to various theories, Aryans around 1500 BC started to cross. Started to cross. western part and started to settle in India around 1500 BC that era we is known as uh, Vedic uh, era in the society uh, that it produced or it established it is called Vedic society now we can draw a map here which can early Vedic and later Vedic era. So this is how introduction will go that how Vedic society, how the Aryans came through the northwestern part of India and established Vedic society in India. Now uh, we can draw a map here. Now what were the major uh, main important point of society? First thing it was patriarchy. There are multiple examples where uh, gods were prayed uh, for blessing of male, ch male children, uh, the authority lies with the men with the, in the household. There are multiple examples of that. Second, caste system was followed. Again, we can say that there were four castes. Brahmin, Kshatriya, Vaish, Shudra and below all there were untouchable. Which in which according to many theories is a result of later Vedic society. Third, more uh, yes, it was a mobile mob it was a mobile system. People were in a way nomads. They used to establish at one place and later they used to go to different places. Jan Pad, even then now Pad is used because people go used to, um, there were less emphasis on territory and more emphasis on cows and other th cattle. So, economy is ag agriculture, rearing and cattle is the wealth concept of kul is also present in extended family now religion nature worshipper now in vedic society People worship nature. We can see example, let's say Indra, Pavan. Indra is god of rain, Pavan is god of uh, air, uh, wind. So we have seen that the personification of natural forces and considering them deity and worshipping them. This was a characteristic of Vedic society relation. Now, there, there was huge emphasis on rituals. Later we have seen there was increase in emphasis of meditation, 
or uh, understanding but during vedic society there were major uh, emphasis on rituals such as sacrificing animals etc through which uh, gods can be pleased so major emphasis were on ritual third materialistic goal we have seen that demand uh, from god there were demands of more cows more sons so there were less inclination on rituals and uh, there were less inclination on rituals and more inclination on material demand fourth brahmin and male dominated presence of brahmin was necessary and all the rituals were concluded by male only so i would say this is how this were the important emphasis on uh, religion now in terms of continuance we can see caste system is there patriarchy is there Forty more than forty-five percent of population is still agrarian. Nature worship is there. Again, and rituals are yet present. and supremacy of brahmins in rituals is there now this will almost cater cater all the part that was demanded in the questions however in conclusion we can write that despite continuous various changes have taken place women have gained more uh, prominent role in society uh the shackles of caste system is being broken and multiple uh, religions such as brahmanism uh, such as uh, buddhism and jainism have contested and competed with the idea of brahmanical supremacy so this is how we'll go about the uh 11th question